Hey guys, it's Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. You can also find me on Instagram at kelsey.ryan. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my B Bionic. This is my new prosthetic arm. I actually got it about a year ago, I think, but I've never actually showed you guys here on YouTube. I have an older video, I think it was about a few years ago. It was um, one of my older prosthetic arms. And I talked about how, you know, I've grown up without prosthetic arms. You know, I've kind of taught myself how to do everything like this, you know, just my arm and my hand. And so the prosthetic arm, when I used it, would kind of get in the way and make things harder. Um, that prosthetic arm was also skin colored. Um, so when I got this one, I really didn't want people to think, you know, that I'm trying to pretend I have two hands that the other hand is real. I liked the white coat. Um, I like that it looks robotic looking, you know, so that people don't think I'm trying to, you know, pretend anything. And it's just really cool looking. It reminds me of Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I actually got this arm because I was going into the nursing program at the time. And I thought that a prosthetic arm might be helpful doing some of the nursing skills like putting in an IV or you know hanging up a saline bag to the IV pump and all that stuff um, but it turns out I tried the nursing skills with the B Bionic and without it and it's actually much easier for me to do the nursing skills without the prosthetic hand just because I think I'm just so used to doing things and learning how to do things like this. Um, even my instructors were like, why don't you just try it without the prosthetic arm? Let's see how it goes. And it went much better. I still am really thankful I got this hand because it's really cool looking. Um, it is the most functional prosthetic arm that I've had. Um, it's much lighter than the other ones. My other prosthetic arms were very heavy. So I did not like wearing them. This one's much lighter. And like I said, you know, the white coating makes it look really cool. So yeah, I'm, I am glad that I got it. All right, so I wanted to show you guys how exactly the prosthetic arm works because I have tons of people ask me, how do you get it to open and close like that? So as you can see on the inside of the arm, there are these electrodes. So these electrodes, press against the muscles in my arm. So there's one electrode that goes here and then there's one that goes like right here. So when I flex my muscles, that's what opens and closes the hand. So when I want to close the hand, I flex this muscle. And then when I want to open it, I flex this muscle. See, close, open. So when I flex these muscles, it sends a signal through the electrodes and that's what opens and closes the hand. So if you are interested in getting a prosthetic arm and you've never had one before, I would definitely work on strengthening these muscles because if you've never had one before, your arm could get tired very quickly. So, you know, just on your own, just kind of, you know, strengthen these muscles, practice moving them. It's kind of like physical therapy. When I was little, I did occupational therapy to strengthen these muscles in my hand. If you don't strengthen these muscles, like there have been times when I've been using the arm and I've been, you know, using these muscles a lot and they get so tired that they start like twitching. So I would definitely work on strengthening these muscles. So I was able to get my prosthetic arm through a place called Hanger Clinic. They specialize in prosthetics, you know, both arms and legs. They also sell a lot of braces that help people. The process for getting this arm actually took a lot longer than I expected. I remember going to my first appointment and I was hoping that I would get it, you know, by the end of the month, but that wasn't the case. It actually ended up being a few months until I actually got the arm. At my first appointment, we pretty much just um, they molded my arm to get the shape and the size of what the prosthetic arm needed to be for the socket. I also told them, you know, certain parts of my arm, like this part here, 
I don't really like when that's pressed so I wanted to make sure there was a little bit of room in the prosthetic arm so that it wasn't like pressing against that part. Uh, my second appointment was then they had the arm part of the prosthetic arm but not the hand just for me to try it out to see how it fits if there's anything that's pinching or hurting that they could fix that. After that, we were just waiting on insurance to see if they would cover it because prosthetic arms are very expensive. So the waiting process is what took the longest. Thankfully, Vocational Rehab was able to help pay for the prosthetic arm. Vocational Rehab is a service that helps people with disabilities. Um, they help people to live out their best lives, to help them find jobs, just to help them to function in society even though they have a disability. So if you're considering getting a prosthetic arm, I would definitely look up Vocational Rehab. They are a great resource. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I actually put the arm on and show you all the different grips it does. So when I'm putting my prosthetic arm, I like to put hand sanitizer on it just to give it, just to make it go a little more smoothly. Without the hand sanitizer, it'd be kind of hard to get the prosthetic arm on. So I just put a nice amount on, rub it on, and then I can slip it on. make sure that it's on all the way so I make sure my arm is fully in there and then I kind of push this skin up a little bit so that it's not like pinching down here so now that the arm is on you can see that there's a space for my elbow so I can bend the arm and straighten it and then this here holds on it latches onto my arm so that when it's upside down it doesn't fall off so right here is where I turn the arm on so I'll turn it on it shows me how much battery I have left and usually the battery lasts about the whole day. This is also where I charge it. Okay, so the arm is on now, so I'm going to show you the different grips it can do. Like I said, this prosthetic arm can do a lot more than my previous one. My older one, all I could do was just open and close. This one has a lot more grips. So I'll show you the first grip. This is just kind of an open close, but if I want to hold on to something smaller, it will do two fingers and even one finger. So I'll show you. And then I'll show you the one finger. That's one finger. And then if I want to go to a different grip, I will flex my muscle and you'll hear a little sound and that means it's changed to the new grip. So listen for that sound. Okay, so it'll change to a new grip. And this is a fist, so I can fist bump people. I usually like this one for when I'm putting on a long sleeve shirt or a jacket because it makes it easier just to get it through. So I'll open that back up. And then if I want to switch to these two other grips, I press this button here and it'll have two new grips. So here's the first one. So I can point at people and then I can bring it all the way down. And then the second grip. I like this grip because the college I go to, the mascot is the Cardinal and you know, at games, we always go chirp, chirp. So this is like chirp, chirp. So I think it's pretty cool. And then if I want to go back to the original grips, I just press this again. It'll take me back to that first one. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly show you guys how I hold on to different things and, you know, pick things up. So here I have a bottle of lotion. So I'm going to use that first grip to hold on to this. So I just close it around and hold on to the lotion like that and then let go. All right, now I'm going to try something smaller like a pencil. So for this one, I'm definitely going to use that one finger grip. 
Things like this are a lot harder to pick up, so it definitely takes a lot of practice. So I'll put the pencil here, and then there's that one, that one finger grip. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up something a little bigger, and for this one, I'm gonna do the fist grip because I feel like it really holds on to things better, especially if it's heavier. Okay. So, I'll close it around, and then pick it up, and then I can sit it back down. I also want to mention that the wrist, you can move it around so that you can get in better, a better position to grab certain things. I can't do this, but I can move it around like that, so that does help a lot. I was not able to do that with my other prosthetic arm as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions about the Bee Bionic, please leave those in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer those. Or if you have any other questions about prosthetics in general, please leave those in the comments below. I'm also always looking for video suggestions, so please let me know what you want to see from me next. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks. Bye.